This time on the show, I'm taking a look at Out of Gas for the Game Boy. So let's get started. First off, Out of Gas is a horrible title for a game. Secondly, the dude in the motorcycle leathers riding the intergalactic sea dew is not doing the game any favors. But you can't always judge a book by its cover or something, so let's get into the game itself. Out of Gas starts off with sort of a cutscene. A guy and a girl are flying along in a hot rod spaceship when suddenly they run out of gas. The guy gives the thumbs up to the camera, which seems to indicate that he thinks he's going to get some. But then in a hilarious twist, the girl brings out a can of gas and foils his plot to molest her. These little comedy segments take place between acts, which is about every ten stages or so. Additionally, each level starts with some sort of pun or alliteration type name. Both the little scenes and the titles for the levels are sort of bad, but in the end they're so stupid that I can't help but sort of like it. It gives the game a little personality. Anyway, the game itself is all about piloting a little spacecraft and shooting circular power-ups that give you gas for your ship. You must collect all the icons to complete the level. After the first few levels, the icons start to have numbers on them and must be collected in the correct order. Gas serves two functions. One, it's used as your ship's life, and two, it's always counting down so it acts as a timer. Run out of gas either by being hit or being too slow, and you die. Simple, but effective. The game has an interesting control scheme. It works like asteroids, but in enclosed spaces. You rotate the ship with the D-pad and press the A button to move forward in that direction. The B button is used to fire your gun to hit the targets. In practice, it's more like steering a bumper car than a spaceship, though, since you bounce off almost everything you touch and your ship has momentum, which almost ensures that you're going to hit things. But it doesn't matter because walls don't hurt you, and so you just sort of bounce your way around. The graphics are simple but effective. I never had any trouble figuring out what to do, and I always knew what would hurt me if I touched it. The scrolling is super smooth, and the controls are very good once you get used to them. I sort of wish I had more precise aim with the gun, but I understand that the D-pad is sort of a trade-off between precision and turning speed, and in the end, I think they made the right choice. I also found the music to be very catchy. It's upbeat and fun, which seems unusual for a space shooter, but I really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, there are really only two or three tracks during the gameplay, and since the game has somewhere around 80 levels, I suppose it could have used some variety. If I have one major complaint, it's the ice levels. Some are not too bad, but others where you need to dodge enemies and make it into small spaces can be very tough. It does add an element of challenge for sure, but it also sort of takes away from the fun controls that I enjoyed so much in this game. The only other real drawback in this game is that some of the levels are fairly big, and finding the order of all the targets can be hard to do before you run out of gas. That said, I was able to go back through the levels pretty quickly once I knew what I was doing, so maybe it's a little bit old school in that way, but I kind of liked its arcade-like approach, even if it wasn't the most user-friendly. Overall, I found Out of Gas to be a fun game. It's simple but charming, and can be very challenging in the later levels. It has small faults, but none that ruin the experience for me. So do yourself a favor and check this one out. The awful title and box art may have kept this one from being noticed at the time, but behind that is a fun game worth playing. I'll see you next time.